When it comes to sales, what is ghosting and why does it matter for you? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from the North Shore of Oahu. I'm at Shark's Cove on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about following up in the sales process. Now, the term ghosting comes from the dating world and the dating world, let's say that I, I meet somebody and I'm texting them back and forth and it sounds like somebody interesting to talk to and then like they instantly disappear. Well, that happens with us, with our clients when you're in the follow-up process. And what you need to know is there's a lot of parallels and a lot of similarities for dating as there are in the world of sales. And so you should have a game plan. You should have an idea of what's going to happen. And you got to know that this is one of the reasons why you really need to close the call when you're there at the appointment. Because what ends up happening is you spend all of your time chasing people when you could have closed the deal if you had the sales skills, the sales techniques, the strategies to do it while you're there. Okay, so first and foremost, if you're doing everything you can to close the sale while you're at the appointment or with your with the person, it gives you a less of a chance of getting ghosted. So here's a couple of things that you could do in case you think that someone is going to ghost you. You put them in a process, a tickler file, uh, a funnel or something to follow up, okay? So I have an automatic 12-step sales process that anytime that somebody does something with me, I interview them, I go, I have a 12-step follow-up process. So for you, part of that is figuring out what are those 12 steps. So like the ultimate is I send a big giant package here from Hawaii and it's like something to grab their attention and say, hey, like you really should be paying attention to this. You really need to see what's going on here, okay? So you should have 12 steps. That's like a 12 step follow up process. Is it emails? Is it thank you cards? Is it bulky mail? So like if you ever read Dave Lacani's book, which you should, you know, how to sell when nobody's buying and how to sell even more when they are, he talks about you, uh, you go to this place and you send them a couple of bucks and they send a red bouncing ball. That's one way to do it. I mean, that would be one step out of the 12, but most people have one. They got like one. Like I'm gonna call, hey, just calling to check in to see how everything's going. No, no, that's not good, right? You should have some sort of, you know, update for that person, some sort of information for every time that you talk to them to move that sales process forward. So it's important to understand why people ghost you. So one, they don't like your product or service. They didn't care for it. It wasn't good. Two, it could have been your presentation. Your presentation could have been horrible, okay? So this is why it's very important for you to videotape your presentation. And three, they may not have been a good fit. They may not have been the right, right client, but they were afraid to say, hey, look, it was too much money. And that's kind of on you. That's actually not even kind of, that's really on you. You should have been able to ask and say, hey, how come we're not moving forward in whatever way that you asked for, okay? Could also be that in their mind, you didn't have enough value there wasn't enough value for what you were charging and there was no difference. And so like when it comes down to it, what you really have to understand in the sales process is when somebody doesn't understand what the difference is between you and your company or your presentation is exactly the same, what you're going to find is they're going to just have price to rely on and that's it. So first you need to understand why people ghost you and the second you got to know what you're going to do about it. Okay. So I did it in reverse so you would pay attention and check things out, which is cool. That happens. So take some time and figure out what you're going to do the next time that you get ghosted. Do you have a plan in place instead of crying and complaining and saying, I got ghosted, right? I don't know what to do. Well, you better have a 12 step plan. You know, you could go to the Google and look like, what can I, what are things can I do besides following up? And if you're making a phone call, one of the worst things you say, I was just calling to check in. Every salesperson says that. Look, anytime you sound like somebody else, anytime that you sound like somebody else, guess what? You are everybody else. And it comes down to price. So you've got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. And every time I send out a video, you will get an update that says, Scott Bell Consultant sent out a video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon. Aloha.